Hey, what's up? This is Crimson Mockingbird, and I'll be continuing down the rabbit hole and hopefully finishing the rabbit hole. That is Knights of Azure. Now, I grinded a little bit. I'm level 10 now, and I got a sweet ass sword. And also, I learned a little bit of how this w character works. So from what I can tell, whenever she does the flower blooms thing, it turns out that she actually regens health. Did not know that the first time. Didn't realize it until I, um, when I was re um, reviewing the recording of it, that she regens health. By the way, the sword that I'm using is the Demon Sword Jord. The one from the altar and everything like that? Yep, so... So supposedly these can be destroyed. I'm not sure. But I heard that on the first wave, you can't actually do anything to them. Because seriously, on my last fight, the amount of damage I did to her was enough to kill her th like two times over. No idea what happened there, but I did not enjoy it at all. So supposedly these can be destroyed. Don't don't ask me how. Oh, what? I never saw this before. Okay. That was a little BS in the damage department. That was a bit of a BS. So remember how I said that supposedly those flowers are destroyable? No idea how. I'm not sure if those little swarm things are somehow associated with it. And 
and she healed again. Never saw those flower things come up, but I guess they were up. Did I finally do it? I did it. Oh. So I just need to grind. Get all my servants except my gargoyle servant to their max level. And then just try and kick her ass. You'll become the Night Lord, and besides, it's already too late. I'm going to turn into a fiend soon. See blue blood from battling fiends, I became less and less heat. If I kept you smiling, I could endure it. Then turn her back into a human. So apparently also there's like three or four extra bosses. But like apparently there's like alternate endings. So it's been a full year. Is the cat okay? So the cat's speaking, I think. This world for a reason. I suppose I can watch over what they fought so hard to protect. But nobody can stop my arrival because. The black cat was the night lord all along.
Am I seriously gonna have a 10 minute episode here? Hold it, wait, 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 wait. Saving New Game Plus data? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yep. Light armor. Offering. Demon. Rabbit. Phantom. Or wait, wait. Nightmare form. Ho! Oh! How do we get nightmare form? Also, she becomes heterochromia. That is so awesome. Okay, how do I unlock that? And I never fought her. Oh, they actually have her like in like a little witch's hat on that one or something like that. And like a little huntress hat. That's actually really cute. I just thought of something that's probably a good thing to question. Is she actually a she or is that a trap? So, when is said the covenant or whatever, they meant the actual Ark of the Covenant. I actually almost made that joke. Ooh. ま、<笑> So I loaded up the last one. An extra scenario has been unlocked. In the in this extra scenario, there are two new bosses you must fight. Quests. Quest forms given by Simon must be complete in sequential order. Please speak to him regularly. Transformation has been unlocked. Level cap has increased to 11. And we're doing it. Okay, what the what is this? This is Apocalypse form right here, people. That was some badass shit right there. All right, well, I'm going to be calling it, um, I'm going to do a quick summary. Okay, so first off, we know that the Black Cat is actually the Night Lord. Secondly, Pope Ludgert or whatever. Okay, so it turns out that the Pope Ludgert betrayed the Night Lord to become the new Night Lord. Also, she was the first saint. That's right. She was the first saint there, people. Um, Apocalypse form is badass. Demon Sword Jorth is badass. And I have another, like, I don't know, three hours I'm going to sink it to this game just to finish it all the way. But 
as of probably my video series, I might be calling it right now. So, this will be the last part of this one. Probably. I don't know, I might do some of the stuff on a later date, you know, as a... Oh, I reached this boss, I recorded it, here's this part. You know, or I'll do all the bosses sequentially and just skip over a lot of the... You know, just pretty much give you a lot of the bare bones stuff of it. Just to sort of see, that way we can get to like the alternate ending. I don't know, maybe. Sort of on the fence right now, I have two other games sitting in the wings that I want to get to. So, yeah, that's sort of how we're sitting right now. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like, dislike, whatever, please hit the appropriate buttons though, and please leave a comment down below. I would very much appreciate it. Also, if you wouldn't mind checking out... <coughs> Sorry. Also, if you wouldn't mind checking out my channel, I'm sure that you might find something you would enjoy. Or if you do enjoy my stuff, or just find it mediocre, or I don't know, you're somewhere in between, you should hit my subscribe button, that way you can stay updated on all my future and current stuff. And as always, on the left is a recommended video based off of YouTube suggestion. On the right is the rest of this playlist. That way you can see from the beginning where I started from and how I got here. And in the center is my subscribe button. And I will be seeing you further down the next rabbit hole. On the next game too. See ya.